Manchester United need to bounce back at Old Trafford this weekend. Defeat to Huddersfield hurt, seeing Jose Mourinho publicly blaming his players. You know, he said Huddersfield um, played, you know, how, how he wants to, his teams to play. Um, you know, they won the, the battles. Um, they got himself a foothold in the game uh, and they took it on from there. And I think he was, he was disappointed. So, um, listen, it's, a, it's, it's the first blip, it's the first defeat. Um, so we're not going to um, go running around and, and screaming our heads off that it's all gone pear-shaped. Um, we've got a massive test um, against a very buoyant Spurs side uh, Saturday afternoon. And uh, I think that's going to be a marker uh, for the rest of the season. This Tottenham team's playing fantastic football, scoring goals for fun. Um, and Harry Kane, they've got one of the leading strikers in Europe, if not the world, um, in, in current form. And um, well, the confidence must be sky high after going to Real Madrid and putting in such a good performance as well. So, um, yeah, the cock a hoop and it's going to be a massive, massive game at Old Trafford. He sort of said that his players were all up for the big games, but not up for, the, you know, for these little scraps. What do, you, what do you feel like in the dressing room when you hear your manager say that? Um, I think they've just got to respond in the right way and uh, realise he's given them a kick up the backside. And, um, but it's really difficult, like I've just said, if they're being trusted one week and then they're not the following week against a, a bigger side, then uh, it, it breeds a little bit of doubt. You know, and it's the last thing you want. You, not everyone's going to love you as a footballer, but you want your manager to love you all of the time and believe in you. And I think Pochettino does that a lot more than a lot of managers. Uh, and I think Jose, to win this league, he has to do what he done at the beginning of the season and take the shackles off them guys and let them play on the front foot. And I really think they're capable of beating anyone in Europe if, if he allows them to do that. For Spurs, it was a comprehensive victory over Liverpool as they now go looking to add another top six scalp at Old Trafford. I think it's their approach to every game. You know, they, they, they set themselves up. And believe, the manager believes in the players to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with anyone they play. Um, and I think you'll, you'll find that this weekend at Old Trafford. Um, you know, not all managers want to approach it that way. Um, but Pochettino is, is someone who really trusts, trusts the squad. No matter how young they are um, and how much experience they've had, he just wants to go toe-to-toe -to -toe and prove to the boys that they're good enough and, and I think that breeds in the dressing room. He's got a big squad at Tottenham and they've got a lot of energy uh, in that team. They're playing with unbelievable confidence at the moment. I think you saw that against, uh, against Liverpool. Um, so they're a difficult team to play against right now. So as I say, it's, it's the acid test at the moment. Um, We've been away to Anfield, which is always a notoriously difficult game for, for Manchester United because of the passion that's, that's in them derby games. But this is, a, I think, a real pivotal moment of the season to play Tottenham on your home patch, given the goals that they can score, given that the freedom they're playing with. Um, massive game for United. He has the captain's armband for England right now. And against Liverpool, Harry Kane scored twice, taking his tally to eight goals already this season. It doesn't really remind me of... I can't think of anybody, to be fair, that, that plays... He seems to tick a lot of boxes. He's, he's good with his hold-up play, he's strong in the air. Uh, the energy levels he has, obviously the goals, um, the enthusiasm he brings to the pitch. Um, I can't think of anybody offhand who reminds me of a, a, a sort of a doppelganger or whatever, but uh, he's his own man and he's, um, you know, I mean, he's, he's riding the crest of a wave right now. And um, rather than, you know, the spotlight sort of choking him, uh, he's embracing it. And, um, you know, that has given him extra confidence. I think he's been mentioned in the same bracket as being able to compete with the likes of Messi and Ronaldo. So you think about the way he's risen to the top over the last three years. Incredible for the lad. And, um, you know, I, Boards well for an England team, that's for sure, uh, to have a player of that ilk. Um, but he's got to keep doing it. And uh, you know, it, it does get a little bit tougher when you, when you put under the spotlight. So uh, we'll see. Now, Harry Kane, I mean, you were at Tottenham for many years, at many levels. When, when did you first come across Harry Kane? How old was he? He would have been 15. Um, he was, he was one you had to wait for physically, you know, and it's surprising to say that and then look at the size of the, the kid now. I mean, he's a specimen now. Um, Harry's strongest attribute was always his mental capacity. You know, he, he took a lot of knocks. He's had to go a long way around getting an opportunity. He went on a lot of loans, and I always maintain that 
to go out and play men's football is always better than academy football. So that was what I always did with the young players at Tottenham, just get them out and play. In, and I didn't judge them when they were on loan. I judged them when they come back because his career could have took a different pathway and he could have been surrounded by players who were not as good, you know, but he's having the opportunity now and he's earned that right to, to play with world-class players and he's showing that he is real top draw. You played the likes of Shearer, Lineker. Mm. Where does he come? Oh, he's, he's similar to Shearer. I mean, I didn't know Gary too much. You know, I think Gary's more of a box player, obviously a fantastic goal-scoring record, but Shearer has had an all-round game and I think Harry's got that. You know, he can play deeper as a number 10. Um, or he can lead the line, you know, but whatever you tell him, you give him uh, I think the art of a good player is to take an extra instruction on and, and you only have to tell Harry once what you require and uh, and he'll get it right in the end, you know, he's very, very, very astute and very clever for footballer. Marcus Rashford got a goal for United against Huddersfield, but not for the first time, Jose Mourinho was seen accused of defensive tactics. No, I mean, after the start of the season, you've got to say the last three performances haven't been particularly great. Um, listen, Anfield is a difficult place to go to. Um, Benfica aren't as bad a team as, as people are suggesting. Um, but uh, we didn't create an awful lot of chances in either game. And then it's been impacted by the, the game on Saturday where Josie was very critical of the team um, to go away to Huddersfield and lose and lose 2-1 after the start we've had. It's very, it was very difficult to swallow. So um, after such a good start of the season, um, We've had maybe a little bit of a reality check and um, you know, it takes us into a massive game now on, on Saturday. I don't think they can afford to sit back anymore. You know, with Man City as good as they are, how many points are you allowed to actually drop? You know, I think it's a really it's a real tough decision to make when you go to Anfield and try and just get a point. And it sends a mes message out to your players that they believe they're not good enough. You know, I think Jose with the squad he has really has to trust him a little bit more, like I'm saying with Pochettino, because if Pochettino had that squad of players, what Jose's got, he would try and win every football match. And it breeds negativity in the dressing room because the boys start talking to each other, think, well, does he not think we're good enough? You know, and I really believe that if they go on the front foot, if they go toe to toe with Tottenham, it'll be a fantastic spectacle. Um, I don't think Man United, the way Man City are running away at the moment, can drop too many points. No doubt about it, Spurs' young stars are turning heads. But can they up their second-place finish from last season and win the league? We've got bags of energy, youth on the side as well, a little bit of experience. We've got a very strong goalkeeper, good strong back four. Um, they they really look like the complete package. I you know I mean I expect them to to really fight tooth and nail for the for the Premier League title. Um, and. Um, I think that confidence is, is there for everybody to see the way they're approaching the games. Can they win um, it, you think? Yeah, I mean, they've they, they put that uh, who do to rest, I think, about playing at Wembley uh, to go and blitz Liverpool the way they did. Um, I think we'll um, have a lot of people maybe changing their mind about this, this Wembley who do um, and the problems they have playing there. So. Um, it was something they were always going to get used to, I guess. It did take a bit of time. It, you know, it certainly suffered last year in the Champions League with it. But um, I think that you know they're playing there every other week now, and uh, they're getting more acclimatised to the um, to the surroundings. And I think we're seeing them a lot more ease at ease playing at Wembley. So um, can they win it? Yeah, I think they're, they're possible dark horses for the title because I say they've um, as a team. Really, they've got everything boxed off. They've got energy, they've got quality, they've got goals. A, a, a good goalkeeper, um, which is always a plus for it. You know, I mean, when you're when you're looking to win big trophies, so um, it's it's maybe the the experience of going right down to the wire in a title fight um, that they maybe don't have. They've been close before, but you know, sort of fritted away at the end of the season. Um, you know, it's something. Uh, a team will learn as as we did back in the in my time at United when we won the first title, came so close the first season, managed to get over the line the next one. So uh, it's something that they're invaluable experience for the Tottenham players and something they'll take into this season. You did it at Blackburn when people question when you're up against the likes of Manchester United, mm -hmm. and we, we spoke to Gary Pallister yesterday, and he said the one thing with Tottenham is they don't have that winning mentality to finish off a season which some of the other teams around them do now you got over that didn't you at Blackburn and you won it yeah, so there's a similar pathway I mean at, at Blackburn there we we finished fourth 
Um, did we believe we could win the league after finishing fourth? Not really. The following season we finished second. Did we believe we could win the league the following year? 100%. And I think that's where Tottenham are at the moment. Um, nothing less than silverware this season would be a be a success for them. And uh, I think they are they're going in the right direction. Fantastic training ground. The, the new stadium's going to get built. Um, it's a great environment to be in and around. Um, and I, I believe that they all think that they can win the Premier League and uh, I hope they do. So where do you see this one going then? Obviously United off the back of losing to Huddersfield, Spurs beat Liverpool. Yeah, I, I think it's a tough one to call. Um, you know, taking away the biasness of being a Manchester United fan, you know I mean? I'd say there's there's quite a good chance of this being a draw. It's a United's home patch. They, they are difficult to break down. They are difficult to beat there. Um, but a cock hoop Tottenham team will go there and, and be looking to take three points. So I, I think it'll set up to be a, a, a classic. Uh, hopefully it won't disappoint. Um, and uh, yeah, if I if I was putting my little fiver on it, I'd probably go for a draw. Score draw? Yeah, I think there'll be goals in it. I think there's there's too many good players and too many goal scorers on the pitch for it for it to be goalless. So um, yeah, one all, two all. But where would your money go this weekend? My money would go. Uh, I think Tottenham are going there at the right time. Um, on on the on the flip side. They can play in the ha into the hands of Manchester United, who've got electrifying pace. But I would keep my money in my pocket until I saw the team sheets. If Jose goes with an attacking side with the likes of Rashford and Martial and Lukaku, I think they can cause a problem to Tottenham. Um, if they go more pragmatic, I think Tottenham will win. You've heard the experts. Now it's over to the players as two title contenders go head-to-head. -head. Check out all the latest odds at betsafe.com.